It's about Jesus. Go ahead. What's your question? So, um, let's say, let's say I come to you and I tell you, hey, bro, like, I don't have any, like, I don't know God, right? Um, show me the God that you worship. Who are you going to refer me to? Jesus. Jesus. What do you, where is Jesus? He's in heaven. Are you going to point to the cross? Yeah, yeah. I can show the cross, yeah. Okay. But the cross is a man that's like me and you, bro. And then, like, the, even though, like, let's say I don't have any religion, I wouldn't accept that because someone looked like me, like you, like two hands, two legs, one why wouldn't God, Why wouldn't God be able to take on human form? Because how would I know that if that is on a cross is a man or a, or a God? Well, you tell me. Uh, but how because, I... like I said, like I, I don't know if, how long you've been here, but there's historical evidence to that we have good reasons to believe that um, Jesus of Nazareth was a real person, died on the cross, and actually resurrected. So if he actually resurrected, I think that automatically starts to... Um, at least lead you into thinking he's more. There's more behind this than just a human being. Um, but yeah, we have we have uh, we have reasons for our faith, and it's all based on the resurrection. Yeah, but what if it was you died like it was me on a cross, like on a, a, a like so. Like a normal person would be on a cross, on a cross dying. Mm -hmm. So what do you? I don't think that was, like think that was believe, a normal person, hey, bro. I don't think that was a normal person. He he actually uh, uh, claimed to be the son of God, the Messiah, and the son of man in Daniel chapter 7. Um, he died and he resurrected, which means that the creator validated his words. Um, and then he also made divine claims that him and the father are one, that whatever the, the father does, the son does also. Um, that before Abraham was, I am. He, he existed before, you know, before Abraham um, that he wanted the glory that the Father gave him before the world existed, so he made claims that he existed before the world. Um, yeah, I think it's safe to say that, you know, based on those words that he's claiming and the, the Creator resurrecting him, um, I believe his words. So it's not just a human, bro. I mean, it's just it's the, it's the history behind it and um, the implications of it. But when we go define God, right? When we define God, God has to be superpower. God has to be unseen. God has to be untouchable. How God has that? to be. Those are the description of God. What do you mean? How do I know From that? Where? When From you where? say God, From when you say God, what do you what do you expect God to be? God has uh, to be. I'm unseen. just I'm just basically. That's one of the attributes that makes him God. So, for example, if you see, if I I can see you, right? Because you're a human being, right? And I don't have to see God because God has to be different from his creation, right? He is different from his creation. We believe in the Trinity. What what else do you know in creation? Trinity like doesn't Trinity. even exist in the Bible. It Trinity, does actually. Trinity. Three in one. But okay. Yeah, have, three persons, one nature. Yeah, so so look, you said God has to um we could talk about Trinity in a second, but you said God has to um be different from the rest of creation. We believe in the Trinity, so uh, that what what in what in creation do you know that's that's equal to the dream? Yeah, but if God, if you refer to Jesus being man, it doesn't make him different. It's we refer to him as God who took on human nature. That's what we believe in, bro. That's in the Bible. That's why we have a problem with Christians because Christians think God. God can turn into his creation and God has a son. This is where yeah, why is that a problem though? This is where we have we like we don't go on the same page. I know, but why is it a problem? Where's the where's the was why wouldn't God be able to do that? Because look, God is God cannot turn into his creation because creation he like for example um, if God turns into his creation, he loses godness. For example, God you becomes... Know, why, why? Why would he lose godness? It, logic tells you. Like, for example... Really? Tell me the logic. Go ahead. I'm going to give you an example so we both understand. You're a man. You want to transform yourself into a woman. Correct? 
correct? No, I, no, that's not correct. I don't want to do that. Uh, you don't want to do it, right? Same thing as God. God, but you can do it, right? You you have a choice to do it. The same thing. God yeah, can yeah, can okay. can turn himself into a human being, but because it does not suit his attributes. Oh, okay. So you're not saying he's not capable. You're saying he chooses not to. He makes a he choice. Because yeah, yeah, okay. God so can, how do you know he made that choice? Because, again, same thing. I how do you know? Example. Are you Were you talking to God one day and God told you he didn't make that choice? Are you in God's <laughs> mind? How do you know that God made that choice? Well, I have a source that tells me. Yeah, what's the source? The source is the Quran. Okay. So do you understand that you, the only, your only objection to my belief is not any, has nothing to do with logic or has nothing to do with God is what capable of doing. It has everything to do with that you believe in the Quran. That's why you reject it. It has nothing to do with logic. It has nothing to but do with even evidence. Though if you, it has if nothing to do with it, anything. It has everything to yep. do with what, you, what we call presupposition. You're presupposing that the Quran is true, which is why you reject the 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 ability of God taking on human flesh. But it makes more sense. For example, God says, "So, bro, but make more sense." Makes more sense. He's about listen, his creation. Listen, making more sense does it is not evidence. That's an appeal to emotion. Okay, so for example, something doesn't need to make sense to you or me in order for it to be true. Like I, I can't make sense of quantum physics. I don't know what it is. I can't even tell you what it is. I know it exists. The reason why I know it exists is because there's credible people that are very smart that say it exists and it's for something. But that doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. Just because it doesn't make sense to me doesn't mean it's not real. Right? So it does what makes sense to you doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to say, it makes sense to every human because God created us with knowledge and understanding, right? So, to call a to call a human die on a cross a god, it doesn't make sense. Even though, let's say, I have no religion, I don't. Do I'm you not, think? Like, do you think say, you can make sense of God? God, God describes Himself. God has to be certain ways. God has think to be make sense for him. Do you think? Do you think you can make sense of God? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? Do, do you think you can actually comprehend God? And, who he is well the way he described himself the way the definition yeah of the, god look you god have you have a place you have a source that you're claiming is where god where god um um described himself right we haven't gotten to that yet we're we're having a, a logical conversation here what's possible what's not possible with god okay is it possible mm -hmm. to fully understand god mm, no okay so it if you're saying it doesn't make sense to you, why why is that proof that it's not true? If you admit that you can't fully make sense of God, because I'm just I'm just I'm just as I'm just giving you the meaning the meaning and definition of God, what God has to be from from a human point perspective. So God has to be a superpower high above his creation, unseen not a human being away from his creation doesn't have to look like me and you doesn't have to come in a form of a human being to die our for our sin dying over for our sin doesn't make sense why would he have to die for our sin when he's yeah, got so you're, you're making you're making an argument like it's not logical it, it makes perfect sense it, when, it you is. Take, <laughs> when you it makes perfect sense when you take into account the whole bible now i know you don't take the bible but to make the claim it doesn't make sense is not is not really an argument, bro. Like you would because have to if, if you're if, this is what you would call like an epistemo, uh, epistemological argument, right? Like you want to go into um, what's the logic behind this? Like can it can it actually happen? You're you're presenting it like this, but what you're not realizing is the reason why you think it doesn't fit logic. It's only because it doesn't fit your beliefs, and your beliefs are the Quran. And you have to first substantiate that the Quran is something that I should even believe in before I even accept your logic. So you're you're you saying this doesn't make sense. Why would God do this? All this stuff. It's all presuppositions. You're presupposing that the Quran is true. It's it's not it's let's not a real me, argument. Let's, let's, let me let me ask you a simple question, okay? Do you think a Hinduism, right? The Hinduism, Hindu
them is they worship the statue because they create with their own hands and they they worship that do you think that is the god no i don't because i believe in christianity you don't right because do i believe in no? christian no because i believe in christianity your your connection is bad okay okay sorry exactly as a human being you know you probably don't even know much about hinduism but you know that that's not a god because of no i how never, they I never bro I, I never you, no you're, not, how, you're not listening no matter to how me, much bro. a hinduism comes to bro you, like, bro you're, you're not you listening worship oh too. my gosh bro please don't don't make me talk over you bro please you're not listening, bro. I said I don't believe in it because I believe in Christianity. Um, that's why I didn't I didn't break it down in, in with epistemology. No, I, I didn't break it down with logic. I didn't break it. I didn't break it down with like the laws of logic. What's possible? What's not possible? I I know that I what's to me what is my belief is that Christianity is true. Therefore, everything else is not going to be true. So, and Hinduism will fall into that. So that is that's why. It has nothing to do with anything you're trying to argue here, bro. Like, it's just not it. You can unmute yourself, bro. Well, yeah. Well, I came up because to just to answer your question, because you said Jesus is God, not Allah. So that's why I compare, like, not compare because it's, it's not even comparable for me. Because you're turning a human into God, I say, no, God has to be a certain way for me to worship. God doesn't have to be a human being or a stone yeah, bro, or like a but your 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 criteria of determining the truth is solely based on the Quran. And there's a flaw there. Because if the Quran is false, then your whole criteria of truth is false. But what you 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 you're referring to one source too, which is Bible, right? I'm referring yeah, to but God. I but I've actually have reasons to believe that it's the truth. You don't really have reasons to believe, and I can tell that you don't have any reasons because of the way you're you're deciphering what's true or what's not. You're presupposing the Quran without having any without being able to substantiate the Quran. Because if you actually like actually critically thought about why you believe the Quran is true, and you actually had reasons for it, that that would have been the way you presented the argument. The fact that you didn't do that tells me that you never thought about the Quran critically before. And if I ask you the question I ask everybody, you wouldn't have an answer. Sure, um, ask me, maybe I have. Yeah, I mean, the, the question I ask everybody is, so the Quran was delivered by, Maha, by uh, uh, Angel Gabriel to Muhammad, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay, how do, we, how do we know that Muhammad was able to identify him as Gabriel? Was able to identify Gabriel, yes, mm -hmm. um, because he saw him in. Um, there's a hadith. I don't know if he, he came across. He saw the angel Jibril, um, in his own farm. Yeah, but how would he know that that's Gabriel? So who else could it be? Because he brought the whole could Quran. be another angel. What do you mean, other angel? Could be another angel. Could be another spirit. Why would it be something else? Because when he came, he introduced himself to him. Yeah, I mean, you think you think. Uh, so where do you, you, think, you think you think that you think that introducing yourself as somebody is is there's no possibility that that being was lying. But if if he is lying, then have you read the Quran? Uh, bro, the Quran is the one that's in question here. He's the one that delivered the Quran. How do I know where the Quran came from? It's supposed to come from uh, Gabriel, Jabril. How do I know that he was that he identified him as Jabril? Because he was um, the same thing. Like you asking me like a childish question. I'm gonna ask you. Why, hold on. Uh, why is that childish? <laughs> it's like so it's straightforward. See, it's it's childish straight because you can't answer it. No, it's not. It's just straightforward because Jabril came to bring the Quran down to Prophet. Yeah, I know, I know, I know that. I know that's the thing. No, it was Jibril. It was not a not an angel. Yeah, so how do how do we know? Why would it? Why is that? Is that not a valid question for me to ask? So, okay, let's say if it's not Jibril, it's not an angel. So what is different? Well, it it lied. So if it's not a if it lied if, if it lied, why should I trust the book? But why would why would be a lie when the Quran is like 
same the same wording, same everything since. Who, like, bro, you think you think a lie can't be preserved? Come on, man. What do you mean, come you on? Know, see, like, you see, you see how this this completely starts to take a shift for you. That you're that the Quran that you're basing your beliefs on that you presuppose is the truth and how you're basing all of your logic on actually has no base to it. You actually have no evidence for it. You, so you don't even know where it came from. You, I know they claim it came from Gabriel, but how do we know that? We don't have any evidence it's for like, it. It's like I'm asking you where did the Bible come from? Like how do you know where you're there? I, I don't need to be there, but there's evidence to exactly. conclude. Exactly. I'm gonna ask you the same question. No, 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 no. You, it's like, so, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't have to be there. I don't think you had to be there to know whether that's Gabriel or not either. That's not. That's not my point. The point is, we have we have evidence to believe where this came from. I'm asking you for the same thing. What's your evidence that this came from Gabriel? I told you the God. Um, it came from Gabriel because the uh, God sent message the message to Gabriel to prophet right oh my gosh bro it works every time for Muslims like and I, I don't know what how do you how do you know for? listen I know what that are you looking you're just for? you're repeating the claim you're repeating the claim all you're doing is I know this is from Gabriel because God said it came from because he said he came from God therefore I believe it came from that's not he's just repeating the claim He's claiming he's from Gabriel, and then you're providing the claim as evidence. What's the evidence that, see, even us humans, we do this. Like, hey, you say you're this person. Can you prove that you are that you are who you are? What do we do? We provide evidence. We provide an ID, provide a passport. We provide pictures. We provide different ways to be able to, even humans ask for validation of this stuff. So what? So something like coming from God, I want validation that this came from God. Yeah, but he claimed to be from Ga he came to claimed to be Gabriel. Muhammad believed, he believed that it was Gabriel. I want to know how did he confirm it? How did he confirm that that was Gabriel? What made him believe it? So in you, in if you think it was not Gabriel, right? Who or who else could it be? It could be any other evil spirit. Obviously, cool. evil because it's telling a lie. Evil. Did you read the Quran? Does it sound like an evil to you? <laughs> yes, it does. Which part is evil for to you? I mean, sixty-five, four, four, two, four, four, thirty-four. I mean, like, there's plenty. There's plenty of places. You know, when you want to. Where does it say though? You know, I mean, a, a, a bro. Quran, but listen, here, here's the here's the thing, bro. You you need to learn like your fallacies because what you're presenting now is uh, is actually an appeal to emotion. Even if I were to say. I read the Quran and it feels really, really good. It really feels like it came from God. My feeling doesn't prove that it came from God or not. Because I could read the Quran and I could feel good about it or I could feel bad about it. And somebody else can feel the opposite of whatever I feel. It doesn't make it, it doesn't, it doesn't conclude what's true and what's not. It just tells us what our feelings are. That's it. Truth has no bearing on my feelings. If, if the Quran is true, it's very possible for me to read the Quran and not feel good about it. It doesn't make it less true. Just like you don't accept the Bible. I believe the Bible is true. You read it, you don't feel good about it. You no, not I feeling good about it has no bearing as to whether it's true or not. I, I do accept the Bible. I never no, say that. No, I don't. do accept the Bible. There's no, some words that, 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 that that's from God. Oh, okay, okay. We're not going to go down this path. You, you don't accept the Bible. But anyways... But my but feeling, Bible, my feelings, my feelings of the Quran have no bearing as to whether it's true or not. So, like, you're going back to the Quran and saying, "Well, did you read the Quran? Did you feel like just because I feel because something you said doesn't mean there are so many evil things in the Quran? That's why I ask you which part I, is the evil." Bro, thing? I'm saying it came from some from an evil place. Doesn't mean that everything in the Quran is evil. But the Quran talks about so mercy. But the Quran talks so about so what? It's if the if the spirit is trying to deceive you into believing that he's God, he's going to say good things. So, so the evil is going to uh, like motivate you to go toward good when is the evil? Yes, to deceive you. Yes. <laughs> deceive you to what? To make you do good things? Deceive you to bow down to him five five times a day and pray to him. Yes. So, so how do you know it's not you and it's like us, the Muslims? Uh, the resurrection. We have a miracle that goes to the creator. You don't have anything like that. You don't even know. You, you can't even tell me how you know it was Gabriel. 
like you don't even know how Muhammad confirmed it. He went to his wife's cousin. He, you don't even know how he confirmed it. He just trusted his wife's cousin. His wife's cousin has no way to know whether that was Gabriel or not. But somehow he's an expert. He's never met, seen Gabriel before. He's just a Christian. Oh, because he's a Christian, he can confirm it? If that's the case, I'm a Christian. That means Are I can confirm it too. Huh? Yeah. He's no yeah, okay. What about him? How, he's not qualified to identify Gabriel. He was a he was a true Christian, not like he he never called Jesus a a son of a God. He <laughs> okay, how would he know what Jesus. Gabriel looks like? Tell me how he would know how Gabriel looks like. How would he identify him? If you see an angel, what you gonna what are you gonna say? What do you is there at? is there only one angel that exists? I'm not saying there's one angel. There's okay. A well, angel. then how would he know what Gabriel looks like? Go ahead. Because when he saw him, he came and down and he into like for example, you see me in the sky with wings. I'm gonna come down and introduce myself. I'd be like, hey, I'm this. <laughs> so what are you gonna say, bro? You sound silly. How do we know that that was Gabriel? Is there a description in the Bible that describes Gabriel like that? Even in the Bible, there is um, angels like. I know, I know. So can you show me? The description of of Gabriel that I've fits that description. Gabriel to describe you to, to you, bro. Wait, what? I never seen him. How could I describe him? No, I'm asking since he was a Christian, he would know from the Bible. So where in the Bible is there a description of Gabriel? No, I'm saying there's there's in the Bible is mentioned the angel. You guys believe in angels? Yeah, I know. I know he's mentioned, but mentioning is different from describing. How do we know what he looks like? Because nobody's seen him except a few people. So if okay, the, so if we never seen him, how would he be able to identify him? The same thing has he never seen Jesus? How do you know? I'm gonna ask you the same question, bro. <laughs> because we have people that actually seen him, so that actually walk with Jesus. Now, yeah, you're. But how do you believe their words? Uh, plenty, plenty of reasons. You see, I'm gonna go were, back, were, You know, it's like childish debate. Like I'm gonna ask. No, you it's not. Question. It's not childish debate, bro. Because here's uh -huh. the thing. You here's here's what's childish. Let me tell you what's childish. What's childish is that you said. He appeared in his truest form. He had wings that spread, etc., etc., etc. Therefore, I know that's Gabriel with no other verification as to that that's how Gabriel even looks like. You just assume. You just assume that because it's an impressive spirit and he says he's Gabriel, I'm just going to go ahead and believe it. If that's the way you're going to just submit to something that quickly and easily, then you are the perfect target for deception. You're gullible. You're just going to believe whatever this thing says because it's impressive. I don't trust your testimony now because you're gullible. You don't ask questions. No, My question like, okay. is, how do we know? You have to ask question about Jesus. Why? Why would I worship some? Anyway, I don't want to go back there because we, you're going to give me. Yeah, I'm I know. Because you're, you're running. Because you're running from the actual question. Let me. Let's assume. Let's say it was not Jibra, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. Since it was not Jibra, right? How, when you read the Quran, right? It talks about Abraham. It talks about Moses. It talks about Jesus. It talks about every prophet that came before Prophet, peace be upon him, right? So, so what? all these information, all these stuff that is in the Quran, it talks about how mountains are created. It talks about the universe. Oh who gosh. do you think knows about, who do you think knows about this? Why couldn't the spirit know that, bro? Why the spirit, the spirit what spirit are you referring to? What is spirit? Any, any spirit. Like, why couldn't the spirit, the spirit know is Jibreel? What? Because he was a spirit is Jibreel. If you if you say a spirit, why could it not be Jibreel? I mean, it could, but why could it not be? Bro, you confused, man. I don't know what you're trying to say, bro. Uh, I think I think you're the one that's confused, bro. You don't even understand what I'm where I'm coming from on this, man. This is just simple. Just like, hey, can you verify? where this came from it was delivered by someone can you identify that someone yes it's gabriel okay how did you identify him that this is that's as far as my question it's very simple but as soon as i ask for how did you identify him be, the reason why it becomes complicated from here is because this is the truth you don't have an answer and neither do any muslims they don't have an answer and that's a problem that's a major problem because this is not just any event in Islam. This is the beginning of Islam. This is what makes Muhammad a prophet or not. And the fact that we don't have any evidence to actually conclude how he identified him as Gabriel is a problem. Why would I believe in that? There's a hadith that the prophet said he saw him. I know he, bro. 
I don't understand what like like I, I don't I don't get it. Are you are you that brainwashed? Bro, I don't it does I know he believes he saw him. I'm not mm-hmm. questioning that. What I'm questioning is how did he confirm it? How? I, I bro, bro, I think you're just like too confused. All right, I think you're confused with the bro. Like it's just simple. Just sit down. 